Let me start this with a very interesting but over cliched Bollywood story about two brothers. Well, the older one stayed back home with mama, became a tough, honest, no nonsense cop, while the other one ventured out into the world, got caught up in the glamour, and became a spoiled brat or a flashy gangster for worse. Well, we have a similar set of brothers out here. They were born to the same mother, Volkswagen. They share similar platforms, but one of them went on to become the Skoda Superb and the other one became the new Volkswagen Passat. Well, let's see which one of them is the good boy that you finally want to take home. The Skoda Superb is the elder one out here. It was launched a couple of years ago in India, while the previous generation Passat was still being sold here. Based on a newer platform then, the Superb came up as the obvious choice. Volkswagen took some time to develop the new Passat on this new platform, but when it arrived, it arrived in style. As per Volkswagen strategy, the Passat is positioned as a more premium product compared to the Superb. There's a contrast out here. Forget being brothers, they don't even look distant cousins from the outside. Both cars sport a different character and will appeal to different sets of buyers. Both these cars have very different personalities when it comes to styling. The Superb on one hand tries to be a little more stylish. It has a flashy grille but the shape of the headlamps, it doesn't seem to gel well with the overall scheme of the things. The Passat, on the other hand, it looks much more focused and has a stronger presence. It makes good use of subtle chrome lines on the grille and the lower part of the bumper, as well as these edgy headlamps with daytime running lights to look much, much, much better than the Superb. The Superb has softer styling, gentle curves and flowing lines. The front grille with its vertical slats looks premium but the low bonnet makes it look a bit of a softy. The Passat has a stronger presence in comparison. It follows Volkswagen's new design language and you might want to pass it as a bigger Vento, but mind you, that's not the case here. In fact, it looks very different compared to the outgoing model with its edgy styling. I like the long slits on the front grille with just enough chrome to not make it flashy. The lower bumper too features intricate chrome detailing. The flare continues to the side and gives it handsome sedan proportions. The Skoda, on the other hand, looks a bit out of proportion. It has a longer wheelbase compared to the Passat by 50mm, but the passenger area is a tad longer and looks disproportionate to the front and rear. In spite of being such a long car, the Superb has a short, stubby and sloping boot which doesn't look as handsome as the Passat's tall rear. Its tail lamps look like Aston Martin rip-offs, while the Passats are heavily inspired by Audis, which is a good thing. They have a nice LED arrangement inside, which looks really nice at night. The Passat looks much more contemporary compared to the Superb. Just by the looks of it, the Superb projects the image of a backseat car. The only emotion it evokes is to get ensconced in the luxury of the backseat and enjoy the ride. The Passat, though, invites you to get behind the wheel and put it through its paces.